Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report on Mingle Media TV, and we are four days away from the Oscars. Tonight we're at the Four Seasons Hotel for the Rap.com's pre-Oscar event. We're going to talk to a couple nominees, so come join us for the ride. Well, well congratulations on your nominee nomination. I've I got to tell you, I think you're going to win. Uh, I hope so. I hope you're right. <laughs> I, really, you know, I have to say that it was such incredible makeup because I felt like it didn't, Meryl didn't wear it and you know what I mean? She just really became the character. So you guys worked yeah, yeah. together very well. Yeah, absolutely. It was a, it was a very good uh, collaboration, I think. Her performance just really sold the makeup and hopefully vice versa. So yeah. yeah, I think so because it's one of those, sometimes when you see people do, especially aging makeup, you start yeah. going, oh, I can see it and I, you know what I mean? And they're sort of constricts them sometimes when they're acting. Sure, we were trying to make it as invisible as possible, really. That, that's the, that was the key, really, just trying to make it like people weren't going to look at it and see it as a makeup. Yeah, I always tell everyone, I'm like, when you see the Iron Lady, she just is Mar Margaret Thatcher. She's not trying to be Margaret Thatcher. She just is. And I think it's a great, wonderful acting lesson for any actor out there. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, there's a fine line between uh, caricature and impersonation and sort of becoming the role and I think she did it perfectly. And she's going to win too. I, I, you know, I think she is. I feel like there's going to be like this. I think so. She deserves it. It's been a long time. Uh, absolutely. I yeah. think so too. And, you know, one other thing, uh, just in terms of makeup, because I always liked hearing about this because we've moved into an age of CGI and, you know, in your art, sometimes you have to battle the studios or battle the director saying, you know what, this is actually going to help the actors transform. Now, obviously, Iron Lady is not a CGI type of film, but... It is something that creeps into your livelihood, I imagine. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, everyone keeps talking at, at some point that um, CGI will take over in makeup as well as it's taken over other animatronic characters and everything. But hopefully actors still want to wear... Uh, I'm sure Meryl would agree that actually for an actor to wear the stuff helps to become the part. It's a whole part of the process. And I think to lose all that, um, I don't think that's going to happen. I hope not. I hope not. Me too. I'll be out of a job if that happens. I know. I'll see you at the Make'em Symposium okay. on Saturday. Congratulations. Cheers.